you're listening to the next team podcast hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the next team podcast and we're doing cricket today and it's episode 14 and uh, i'm seeing some faces for the first time and it's actually not faces one face for the for the first time after a while arjun who has uh, gone to the land, land of the kangaroos and i'm happy to and welcome him back to the <laughs> land of the kangaroos Brilliant. yes absolutely mm. uh yeah i'm happy to welcome him back in the podcast uh, it's been a back. while yeah and uh, of course i have my usual suspects tarun and uh, praveen and uh, we'll be looking to dissect in what has been a better part of a week of the ipl and uh, before we start to discuss that, uh, Tarun has a few messages for us. Yes, guys, if you're watching this, please do uh, consider checking out checking us out on Instagram. We're there at the next team SG, and that's where we'll be posting all our latest updates, all uh, notifications about our latest videos. And you can also check us out on TikTok. We're there at the next team SG as well. And this is where we'll be uploading snippets and best moments from all our videos. And also, please do consider following us on Spotify and subscribe to us on YouTube. We are on both these places as the Next Team Podcast. And all our links will be in our descriptions. Back to you, Vika. Yep. Thank you, Tarun. And um, okay, so for today, we don't have a set format or anything. Uh, I just decided to try something new. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see where it, how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too bad. Jesus. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, of course... <laughs> <laughs> with uh, four of us being CSK fans, uh, I think naturally it is quite obvious we're going to start off the IPL discussion with CSK. And uh, I think let's let's take ourselves back to the opening day. Before uh, that, before that, because, yeah? uh, Pravin, you are currently in the hometown of cricket. You're in India, you're in Chennai. <laughs> What's the vibe like there? <laughs> Our correspondent. <laughs> I, I, I really feel bad for RCB fans here. Yeah. <laughs> really yeah, they're getting murdered everywhere they go uh, to be honest two of my roommates is RCB fans uh, uh, it's oh, really yeah, tough uh, it would, would be uh, lovely to meet them yeah <laughs> I mean uh, they're half dead ready and it's been one week of uh, IPL uh, so I think by the time by the time IPL finishes they are, they'll be completely dead uh, so yeah oh, I hope so uh. I mean the RCB fans don't really they don't yeah, learn they, they didn't do yeah, anything to like c- celebrate I uh, hear so yeah. I mean, not like we have a we have a plen- we have plenty to celebrate as well. Not, dude, they have, we literally lost our two they, opening games as well. They pull up stats like oh they have the highest score and the lowest score in the IPL. Uh. <laughs> that is such a sad state of You really up. have you, you, <laughs> they flex really, the lowest score. <laughs> yeah, they have the highest score in the IPL and the lowest score in the IPL. So like, I mean you really have to like uh feel bad for them. Like when I say CSK has four titles, they pull up stats like that. La. So yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> must be fun must be fun to be around yeah. that atmosphere yeah. yeah so yeah but okay let's come back to uh, csk so opening opening day uh new captaincy first of all yeah new captaincy we really talked much about that um what do you guys feel what was the initial reaction after Dhoni passed the beta so hard was, uh, yes uh i had my instagram post all up you know end of an era and it's really how it how it feels right we yeah. have spent so long seeing Tony as a Tala, the captain. And then now it's hard to accept someone else as a captain, even someone as uh, talented, as world class a player as Chareja. But it's just hard to see the captain being passed on. Yeah. But to be honest, I still feel Dhoni is the captain. Huh? I mean, back <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, he's that's in the true. deep. Huh? I mean, Jareja, I mean, that's why he's the best fielder in the team. Huh? I mean, he has to be at the uh, deep, you know. He, he has no clue what's going on near the, like, what's going on inside the circle. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. from setting the field to even, like, taking DRS, I think he depends on Dhoni a lot. Huh? Like, legit a lot. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. I think, to be honest, it's also might be the right time going to step aside also because mm. it's he it shouldn't be i feel like it, it would be too much of a big change if let's say you would retire overnight and not groom the next captain i guess mm. this is also a, a good opportunity for jateja to make mistakes and actually learn from the and tap on the expertise while Dhoni is still on the field right. but uh i think jateja still has a lot to learn i think he still has to build that connection with the with the fans as a captain i think we've seen that connection as a player but um you know, Dhoni has that um, affiliation with the fans, the appreciation for the fans. I think the fans are absolutely adore him. Not that we adore Jadeja any less, but 
as a captain i think we are yet to see that side of him where he has a lot of interaction with the fans so it it's quite exciting to see what he does on that aspect because he's not a very i wouldn't put him as very a very good communicator like doni um, yeah. he's probably he's probably more leadership by example like he's probably the best fielder best batsman mm. uh, best bowler in the team so yeah i think so far what i've seen okay. of jadej i am going on and on and then when did he become the best batsman best bowler in the team <laughs> I mean, he's pretty, he can be. I mean, on his day, he can be up there. Yeah, he's up there. He's up there. He's, up there. Yeah. he's really up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> man just scored. I mean, he's just scored a double. Oh, sorry, one hundred and seventy order in the test 75, match. Seventy-five, I think. Seventy-five, hundred seventy-five. Yeah. So he's, I mean, he is. He, he is. He is really in very very good form. He's probably at the peak of his game. So I think. I think in that sense, yeah, he's probably the best candidate. But <clears throat> I think. I think he needs to probably work on his communication and. Uh, I think tactically. Um, okay, we'll come to the tactics the tactics of for the second match later. But the first match, what do you guys feel like? Um, we we got bundled out for a very low score, I think hundred and thirty. Was it? Let me just confirm that. Yeah, hundred and thirty-one for five. Thirty-one. Yeah, um, I mean it was a very we we lost early wickets. Um, In yeah, the power we play, we lost early. too many wickets. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Rutu got out. Uh, Conway, Conway Devon. Conway, I think I think it's a Conway bit, never I mean, got a going, bit unfair. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit unfair to judge him based on that, but. Yeah, it was a really ugly looking shot to get out. If you guys remember, it's mm. yeah, it's a really ugly looking shot. Uttappa is looking very very solid, by the way. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I yes. Be, Uttappa is looking a good player. Even even Raidu, even, uh, even Raidu, both uh, of them like yeah, looking good. Yeah, Uttappa and Raidu are, are looking are quite promising. Uttappa even the first game when he scored like twenty eight of twenty one balls, I think he looked very very good. He was just a bit unlucky the way he got out, but he looks very confident. Very very competent. He's timing the ball very well. Some of his shots, like just he just flicked, he just flicked it off his hip and it just flew for six. It was not even power or anything. Just pure timing. Yeah, you can you can see he's seeing the ball very well. How old is he now? Thirty four, I guess. Thirty four, thirty five. Thirty six actually. Thirty six. Wow. Yeah. So Uttappa is playing really well. Thirty six and he's oh wow. The the shots he plays like. It's quite mad. And then and then we have Shivam Dubey, master class. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. He shot in the first first match was so funny, oh my god. Oh, hit it just... up really six point one, ah, six point five crores or something, right? And they couldn't buy far for seven crores, ah. Ah, yeah, okay, it's ah. it's it's criminal that we didn't get far still. Yeah, we gave it to our, our rival, ah, that's the thing. And he's captaining. Yeah, them. and he's captaining them now. He yeah. easily could have been know. the captain for us this season, ah. Honestly, <laughs> we uh, he's still quite about. old, though. I would say, like. Yeah, he's so fit. Uh. He's so fit, though. He's, he's so he's super so fit, yes. But I think he's still quite. I I don't think even if we had retained him, he would have been the next captain. I think he would have still been Chareja. I don't really care whether even... he's captain or not. Uh. I mean, <laughs> the guy can easily up. pay for a uh, play for another three years. Uh, like solid. Uh, another three years is there. Yeah, still. definitely. Hmm. Uh, but I think it would have uh, been hard because I mean they would have been quite desperate for a new captain. And I think Faf would have been like their number one target, I guess. So really, yeah, therefore, actually, to to be honest, in their marquee set, there was like what well, so many captain options. Ah, Shreyas, they could have gone for Shreyas. They could have gone for Warner. They could have gone for Faf. Or oh, purposely, when I tell you this RCB, take Faf and I mean, to <laughs> yeah, be honest, Faf was still. I think it's a very sure. intelligent move. It's an intelligent yeah. move, honestly. Faf for... got for Faf yeah. for seven and uh, Warner was six point two five. Ah, he could they could have gotten Warner for like. Less than seven, seven crores. Ah, uh, 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 it's just too far. But they have to take far for. It's uh, okay. Uh, it know. is what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, in the first match, I thought uh, we were really poor in the bat. But yeah. I guess credit to Doni and Jadeja for sticking it out. Um, I think Doni, especially initially, found he couldn't even find his timing at all. He was really playing very poorly. But uh, later on, I think I think the pitch showed that once you get. Um, you spend time in the middle, it gets easier to bat. And uh, towards the end, I think his strike rate went over hundred in the end, right? Like well over yeah, 100, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. well over hundred. Yeah. But Jadu, like Jadu, you can see he was so stressed. Ah, uh. mm. like his yeah, first match as captain. His captain sees. He wasn't himself. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. not really playing with the same freedom. Him. Yeah. Even yeah. even the second match, Doni came out first, right? Even the second match, Doni was the one ahead of first. Uh, or ahead, ahead of, of Jadu. Jadu. I think so. Yeah. No, I think Jadu just still comes ahead of uh, Doni. Even the second match, yeah. So I, I mean, yeah, it, it was. But I can tell. I mean, I think you're right, lah. He is, he is a bit more. He's not able to express himself as much, uh, given his captaincy. I think it's a new post he's taken on, and 
Yeah, it's it's it is weighing on your shoulders. It's quite obvious to see. I I never seen Jadeja this tense before. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Even in the second yeah. match, he was <clears throat> not really like yeah. It's not going his usual, there. Yeah, it's not his usual. Not his usual it's self. Not, it's not the Harshal Patel over. Uh. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I to be fair, I think we only get like one or two of those in a single season. So I would rather not use something like that so early. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, but actually, on that topic, do you guys think maybe Dhoni is now has a bit more freedom? Yeah, now that he's passed on the captaincy. I can oh, yeah. actually can. You can yeah. see a difference, ah, uh, like. I feel like he's more first free match fifty now, especially now, in the first game, right? Yeah. Even second game, he came on. He yeah. six and four. Uh. First like... ball, first ball six. Uh. <laughs> yeah. 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 They expect. Yeah. So playing a lot more freedom and contact. I feel like it's like when Faf was playing in the IPL fast because he didn't have any captaincy pressure. He just he didn't even play for South Africa. He just he just all he had to do was the IPL the three months. Hmm. He could just play with that complete freedom, you know. And I think that's what Dhoni. Same thing for Dhoni now. He just has to focus on the IP. I mean, he has been, but he always had the captaincy weight on his shoulders. Hmm. So it's quite interesting, actually. So players actually get more freed up without the captaincy role. It's it's like, hmm. it's very interesting to see. Even like, and, um, and then there's Kohli, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> captain, no captain. I don't know what happened to him, ah. Huh? <laughs> I think Kohli is still Kohli is still class, ah. Still class. I I I'll never discount it, ah. As a as a player, he never faltered even as captain. I would say, like. I mean, for these three months, I'm sorry, ah. Yeah. Oh my God, three months. Big yeah. deal. <laughs> For ten years, the man has been dominating world cricket. Uh. No, I'm saying for the future three months, da. Uh. For the next three months. Oh, okay, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Maybe, I mean, there's no way Kohli is going to get dropped from either squad. So either he has to go. Man is talking about him dropping. Uh. I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh. but uh, yeah, but I think I think also for CSK, right? I think our bowling has been really poor overall. Mm. Um, I think not having Deepak Chahar Deepak. is hurting. Uh, is really hurting, hurting us, hurting us quite quite a bit. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God. Even Chris Jordan, right? He's in. Yeah. We do play oh, like so people injured. like. Yeah. Oh, Chris Jordan is injured, is it? I was yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. But, okay, but Pretorius is good, ah. Like really yeah, he good, is, ah. He is, mm. he is ah. He he bowled with um, a lot of control in the second match, especially. Oh. I think. Not having Deepak Chah is really hurting us, I guess. They can't wait Deepak Chah to come back into the team, ah. I mean, like people like Tushar De- Desh Pandey can get out of the team. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Ah, yeah. I, I, I agree, Mister Brian. I agree. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well put. Two hundred and fifty. There was another guy playing the second match. Chowdhury. Right? Oh, what is Chowdhury? Yeah, yeah, Mukesh yeah. Chowdhury. Yeah, it's a left arm yeah. seamer. I mean, last over. I think okay, it's the last over. Yeah. Wide after wide. Huh? <laughs> For the second. The pressure is getting to him. Can, he was do du- uh, Dubey's over though. <laughs> it was, oh, it was bad. Huh? Dubey. Actually, yeah, I, do, I like. I like. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I I like I like the look of Adam Milner actually. Uh, I think he bowls really. He, wait, he didn't play pace. in the second match, right? No, he didn't play in the second match. He played in the first mm-hmm. match. I, but I like I like the because I I've seen, okay, I've seen him over the years for New Zealand, but um more so I saw him in the Big Bash. Uh, I think mm. last did season. Did he or play the year for MI also? Last season. Yeah, he played for MI last season. Yeah, yeah he did, did he, like play play. He I bowled. Don't know, I, like, I think he played. I played a few matches, but I think he. Mm-hmm. For me, what really captured my attention was his big bash performances. I think he's really bowling quick, mm. and I think there's a lot more control with the way he bowls. So I I I am looking forward to seeing him more in the yellow jersey. Mm. But but I think like I think CSK is still like how they finding their playing level now. Like they're trying here, mm. like trying people out. Yeah. Yeah. There are some people who are undroppable, but others like like the foreign combination. I would say international combination. Correct. Yeah. They're still figuring it out. Uh. I think the second match you saw like um, they dropped Conway and then they brought in Moin Ali and mm. then they yeah. dropped Milner. They brought in the Pretorius. Yeah. I mean, we can just we might as well talk about the second match as well. Um, yeah. for the second match, I think our batting was flawless. Everyone contributed really yeah. well played. Uh, I can't really fault us on that department. We we learned. Uh, Shag or Rutu uh, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Rutu enough. was a bit unlucky. Yeah. Unlucky, really yeah. unlucky. But um, overall, yeah, we played very very well. Uh, it was nice to see. Uh, who have, who got some runs? Uttappa is on top. Uh, Uttappa is being magnificent for us in these two games. I mean, I questioned the two crore price tag when they brought him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know it was his base price. I was like, he's thirty six. Why do why is he asking for two crores? But yeah, I mean, he's showing his worth. So mm-hmm. I can't really argue on that front. If he's putting in the performances, <coughs> I mean, whatever age he is, and for his, he looks. I mean, he doesn't look fit, but he runs between the wickets. I mean, he's running between the wickets. It's pretty impressive. Like he's pretty pretty quick between the wickets. So. For me, I mean, Utapa has been a fantastic signing, 
Moin Bai contributed a bit. And then Shivam Dubey, after the horrendous first, uh, <laughs> the first match display, I think he proved himself uh, to an extent. I think he was, mm. some of his shots were amazing, the, the sixes. Uh, I think over square good leg good was power, one. Yeah. Uh, good, really powerful hitting. I mean, it was a bit shocked to see him get out for 50, but uh, Pravin clearly disagrees. So Pravin. <laughs> <laughs> like 25, 20, 25 over. I mean, come on. Uh. You can't say, you can't say, you really can't say that you're giving to a guy on the 19th over. Was he 19th over? Yeah, it was on the 19th over. Yeah. Mm. Like, look at, I mean, the same thing happened to Venkatesh Ayer. Uh. I mean, the uh, KKR match. It was a low, yeah. score, it was a very very low scoring match. That's his first time bowling this season also. Okay, he came out. Ayer, Shreya Ayer gave it the nineteenth over also. Came out 10, 11 runs, and uh, also I mean the I mean really to say that what uh, the the last four he considered was really unlucky. Uh. so yeah, the thing about it, he the way he bowled straight like Yorkers and stuff like that. I mean Shivam Dubey just gave, oh my god. 25 runs. 25 runs. Uh. That's like Daniel Sam's giving 24 for the Mumbai, uh, Mumbai match. Uh. All these RCB players, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, pissing yeah, off. I mean, it was, a, it, was, it was a match we should have won against LSG. It was really disappointing mm. to see how we threw it away. I think up until the... We, we, okay, it, it was a... I mean, this was in Pune, right? If I'm not wrong, was it? Yeah, it was in oh, Pune, Pune. Hey, Wankade. Right? So, it was Wankade. Wankade. Oh, it's Wankade. And yeah. Wankade, I think... Um, Okay, never mind. I, I was going to say that. Okay, it's, it's been a pretty okay, even I would say. Both Pune and Mara. I think I mean, we lost Pune the match and, uh, when Moin dropped the catch. Uh, Sitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was wow. Moin by. That was bad, uh, really. Uh, uh, that was really that was straight in and straight out. Straight and, in, straight out, yeah. I mean, Decock, yeah, I mean, he. he After he, he, he did smash he did another 20 uh, something runs. Uh. Yeah, that definitely made a difference, hundred yeah. percent. Like, I mean, it's all about the pressure. At the end of the day, because you lose early wickets, right? You you need. I mean, okay, yeah, you can argue that you give other batsmen more time to settle, but at the same time, there's also the scoreboard pressure where you're chasing some a high total like two hundred and ten, and you you need to keep constantly having a few boundaries each over. So there will be that constant pressure, especially if you get someone like a Decock out early. Yeah, so I think I think that was that was a pretty crucial drop, and. Oh, but Lewis. apart from that, Lewis, yeah, I mean, really Lewis just, but yeah, that, that was proper murdering, especially she all these Lewis, Caribbean I players. Are, one for one match was Odin Smith, then Odin was Smith. Lewis. Now he's Robin uh, Powell. Uh, Robin Powell, you haven't seen the best heaven, of him, but yesterday was Russell. Oh, oh, all oh, these Caribbean Russell. players are oh, magnificent. And, and we have Bravo, a champion. Like, I'm telling you, his bowling is <laughs> magnificent. Uh, seriously, oh, he's yeah, so yeah, good. Man, as you yeah. Honestly. His yeah. variations are so good. That's the thing. It's, 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 it's so yeah. hard to read. Even like, I mean, he's been playing for you know so many years. You would think that people yeah, would have people figured him found, out. Yeah, found him out by now. But he's still so difficult to read. I think it's because right. Um, the when people when, when generally fast bowlers they bowl slower balls. You can sort of see, you can sort of see the arm rotation. It gets a lot slower. But with Bravo, right? He bowls the same. His arm rotation is still the same. It's just he uses his fingers. He tweaks his fingers a bit, which is very hard to pick for a batsman. And he gets the ball to dip as well. So I mean, he he beat Malinga's record, right? Yeah, yeah. he's the he's highest. The most one, I highest wicket taker. I mean, well deserved. He's been a legend for us. Absolute yeah. legend for us. Even so, I mean, even the first game, even yeah, three wickets, uh, three for twenty. Yeah. Uh, what more can you ask for? Yep. Yes. Yeah, class. I think I think we're lacking that power play bowler. I, I still think like uh, Deepak. Uh, Deepak, Deepak Chahar, 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 Chahar. In this like, Mumbai huge. pitches, right? In this Mumbai pitches, he can swing the ball so well, uh, Like, yeah. I mean, with him, right, we can easily pick like two, at least two wickets in the power player. Uh. Exactly. Will he even be back for this season? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, back he next has. match. I think. Oh, he is back. So now. fast. Yeah, I next match. match. I don't think next match. I think it's few four matches. Four. The fourth match he'll be here, lah. Okay, that's that's right. okay. We need, I it's mean, to be honest, oh, so yeah. Oh, next one is the third, or oh, tomorrow match is yeah, uh, third match. match. Okay, okay. The next so game we have, to win, uh. we have to win. Mm. <laughs> I mean, Honestly, Punjab, uh. playoff. yeah, we have. I mean, yeah. it's quite tough. I, I mean, Pan, every team is good. Uh. That's the thing, uh. mm. yeah, yeah. Every team has match winners, 205. Uh. Every the team we talk, uh, what. Uh, even <laughs> Gujarat Titan won their first match, area. Yeah. Oh, Gujarat to solid. Okay, okay, let's come to that soon, but um. I just, before that, I just want to talk about uh, Mumbai DC yeah. match. Um, okay, first thing, big shout out to Tim David. Man, I mean, as much as these guys say that it wasn't a murder, I, I still think he murdered Shahzul Thakur. It was, <laughs> it was an amazing shot over, back over. I mean, it's quite insulting for a fast bowler to get hit back over the head. And I mean, it was a huge six. And I mean, it was, it was a good moment to see finally some a Singaporean actually 
making it big in the IPL. And um, yeah, long may it continue. And hopefully we see more, we see a proper performance from Team David in the following matches. But I think one key thing about the Delhi uh, Mumbai match was that Delhi had no right to win that match. Yes. How did Delhi win that match? I have no clue. I mean, it's, it was good it's, it's from, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's scarier. Yeah. Delhi is actually scarier. They don't have Mitch Marsh and Warner, and they still managed to pull up. And and uh, uh, Roman Powell went out for duck out. Uh. He went duck yeah. out, uh, and they still managed mm-hmm. to win the match. Uh. Powell yeah. went for duck out. Punt went for one. Ah, and Aksar went just went for decided duck. to become Dhoni. Yeah, Aksar and Lalit Yadav. Lalit Yadav smashed. Lalit Yadav and Aksar Patel finished the bo- finished the game with ten balls to spare. From where yeah. they were, it's a joker. It, that, the, it's a joker. Some of these things, like some of you, you think, like you know, the the scoreboard pressure. There's no way like Delhi are winning. No, I actually switched off the TV. I think they were 104 for six, chasing 100 and, 100 and what 178. Dude, right? everyone so, here, yeah, here people went to buy tea. Uh, when Shahrukh Taku, I just went to. Playing, I, I saw. I saw Shahrukh Taku like, went to went to have dinner yeah. and stuff like that. Uh. No point. Like I thought, okay, no point watching this. It's a it's a boring game. I saw then I saw a WhatsApp group go like berserk. Then suddenly like oh guys, Delhi won. I was like what? Delhi won. <laughs> I said, who hit, who smashed it for an Aksar Patel 13 or 17? Oh my god. Man, we, I rewatched the highlights. The man was sending it into orbit. Uh. He's Ugh. like, he man, Kurnal Pandya, like they're so skinny. Uh. Like, I don't even know how they can hit yeah. so big sixes. It's, I don't the, it's, the, co- it's the cost and it's like Rutu, you know, he can he can clear boundaries also. Rutu, can hit pretty, Rutu is like lean, how to say it? Like you can say like it's like the skinny it's like, like lean. I mean, same like, thing for Hardik Pandya. I, I, I would still say the same thing. It's like Hardik, these guys Hardik have was a very, mad. Uh. Hardik was mad. Hardik was mad. Okay, anyway, let, let's come to that soon. But it's all about the these smaller players who we seemingly can't hit huge sixes because of their cost strength. They're able to clear the boundary so well. So yeah, it's just I mean the IPL is so unpredictable. I think you can never rule any team out at any point in time. So yeah, I've learned my lesson from there. So from now on, I'll, I'll watch every game till the end, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I watch the game, of course the team will get all out. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's for Mumbai DC. Um, same thing. RCB uh, Punjab was another highest scoring game. Um, I think for Punjab, it's a pretty impressive batting. Okay, first of all, RCB f- fantastic batting performance. Okay. Everyone contributed at top. Faf, I mean, yeah, that's okay. again a okay. timely reminder what we Every time out. he plays for RCB, my my heart just breaks. He just, he's just <laughs> revolting to see him in that stupid red jersey. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Like, he's like, even his face looks depressed being there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's unhappy. He's, he's clearly he, unhappy. He cleared, like, uh, honestly, if you talk to him one on one, like, and just you promise you wouldn't tell, tell him one, right? Do you want to be back at CSK? Yeah, yeah, I hate this place. I want to be back. Of course, Arjun has insider information yeah. on that episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to the song of like, Jay's Bond yesterday. <laughs> he said he doesn't like this. <laughs> he doesn't like this vibe. Absolutely, uh, I think I think it's uh, I think Arjun is a rely amazingly reliable source. I think we should all believe what he says. Yes. <laughs> no, this IPL, uh, they're chasing down high scores with balls to spare. Ease, like, with ease, easily yeah. with ease. Uh, I don't get it. Uh, it's, yeah, I mean like, this game. Right, season, I mean, like it wasn't like this. Uh. Yeah, it wasn't at all. Um, okay, first of all, RCB series was fantastic. Everyone, Dinesh Karthik, like Pravin said, he's not a finisher. Man is, <laughs> man just finished the other. <laughs> <I'm thinking. laughs> I like how all our whatever we say at the start of the season. I mean, Dinesh Karthik is just, just goes completely wrong. Uh, DK, he finished the second game, right? For RCB. Yeah, yeah finished the second game for RCB. Man, but God, yeah. yeah, even the first game, the cameo he did really he, well. He better yeah. really, really well. He just he just came in, just started sending yeah. some. All these guys that who don't play international cricket suddenly coming out here and playing so well, yeah. uh. And uh, for Punjab, I want to I want to point out uh, Manuka Rajapaksa. I don't think yeah, yeah. at the start of the season anyone expected him to be a uh, uh, you know like he's on my dream level. Dynamite, <laughs> <laughs> winning rupees. <laughs> winning rupees. <laughs> we can't even access dream eleven, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, you oh, guys can't. Yeah, can't. Can't. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it. I mean, Punjab off is, again yesterday, yeah. like thirty-one off nine or something. Thirty-one off nine. Yeah, yeah 31, thirty-one off nine. nine. Yeah. That was oh. mad. A strike rate of 300, you know. That's like... Yeah. <laughs> and, when his team, and when his team managed to get all out for 137, men hit 30 or 31 of 9 in that mm. pitch. Yeah. Uh, oh. and that's just amazing. Okay, I don't think... Like, I can't really blame the pitch more, more because of short selection, but... Yeah. It's... Yeah, it's just maddening to see like when your, the rest of the team perform so badly and then you go at a 300 strike rate. That's, it's, it's amazing stuff. And uh, I mean, okay, just coming back to the RCV match, right? I think Punjab... Also had no right to win it. 
and uh, Odin Smith again come a time and again the West Indians lighting up the IPL. Yeah, smashed. Oh my God, absolutely eight balls, murdered. Uh, Twenty five or eight balls. Eight balls. Absolutely murdered. Uh. So I mean, yeah, I think Punjab look a very strong batting outfit, especially like we haven't seen Liam Livingston. If on his day he can he can hit hundred meter sixes. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. Uh. He, he he is scary as well. So I think in terms of power, I, I think Punjab are right up there because mm, they have yeah, big big play power yeah, power yeah. hitting. From three onwards, I mean, okay, the openers are class. Don't get me. Mayank and Shikara are class, but from if I go from three onwards, there are three onwards: Rajabaksa, Livingston, Raj Bawa. I think, I think he he played okay in the second he match. Didn't, right? He didn't play in the first match. Did he play in the first match? He did. He, did. he, did. he got up for duck. Yeah. He got up for oh, duck. Okay. But I think duck. he's a he's a pretty good batsman as well. But uh, Shahrukh Khan and Odin Smith down the order. I mean, these guys can these guys can hit a long ball. Shahrukh Khan went for duck right yesterday. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. But right. yeah, Punjab look a scary outfit. Then they are in the bowling also is pretty good. Rahul Sir and uh, Rabada Kagiso. Hmm. Kagiso, yeah. yeah. And Ash Ashdeep also, right? Yeah, Ashdeep Singh also. Yeah. Ashdeep yeah. Singh is a very good yeah. player as well. Yeah. I mean, on paper, yeah. like I, I feel on paper, uh, everything is better than CSK right now. Uh. I yeah. don't know why. Uh. I just want to look at it. But that's always the case. That's yeah. always yeah. the case, though. It's always. So let's now talk about who's going to meet us in the finals. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 okay, boys. I have a goal. I have a bold prediction for that, and, and 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 incidentally, it's the next match we can cover, which is LSG Gujarat. I think Gujarat Titans just look. They look. A, they look a cohesive unit. I I, I, really, I really like the makeup of the team. Uh, I know at the start of the season, Pravin said like, um, you know, they are horrendous. They're going to what? I don't know what Hardik is doing and stuff. But some of these players, Apparently, they you know what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> he knows. Apparently, he knows what he's doing. I, I, I like, I like his captaincy. Honestly, I, I watched the good very democratic now, captain. He, yeah, very demo. Yeah, he, he, he looks like a very. Okay, know, he, he see, likes something came out of something came out of uh, syllabus. Uh. The thing is, he, I, I never knew that he's going to bowl follow four overs. Uh. I never thought <laughs> yes, that yeah, he's going to bowl four hour, follow uh, yeah. all the four overs. Uh. So it's like I was like, okay, he's bowling two, then he's give someone, then he bowls the third. Yeah, okay, three and he's gonna give one over to someone. Then he bowled the fourth also. I was like, what the hell? The guy just finished his yeah. entire quarter. He won't bowl for us, he won't bowl for India. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pandya, I think Pandya managed to give put Vijay Shankar at three and still win a game. Wow. Yeah. You see the Vijay <laughs> Shankar we can't. What is this Vijay Shankar disrespect? I will not yeah, have yeah. it. He's a three D player, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh just God. be thankful. So, I mean, just be thankful we didn't get him, but we're waiting for him. Yeah, we're waiting for oh, him. Yeah, you were going yeah, for him. I, I swear sometimes the auction team just does that to like scare us. Uh. Yeah. Like they go they go for all the <laughs> players that we don't want. We're going, <laughs> we want to, we, we're going for Rahul we, 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 we like talk so badly about Rahul Tevati for 9 crores. The guy finished the match for, for Gujarat. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are talking nowadays. so much about Vijay Shankar. <laughs> Watch him close it in Gujarat. Uh, close it for Gujarat against DC today. Right. <laughs> He's going to get Tune like in. a 53 yeah. of 24. But he got up very badly. Yeah. Like he, the stumps just rattled uh, everywhere. All the three stumps just flew. Uh. Vijay Shankar, the Yorker, the Yorker, right? Vijay Shankar, the Yorker yeah. from oh uh, it's a, Amira. It's a crazy ball though. That ball. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah I mean, I, I, it was. Yeah. And I, I actually think one of the most underrated signings for Gujarat is actually Matthew Wade. Uh, yeah. He's mm-hmm. actually he's actually a very good batsman. Even the BBL and even for Australia, he's putting some very good. For Australia, good he opens for T20. I mean, he just yeah. won the World Cup uh, with Australia. Yeah. He's yeah. a really good player. I mean, there was one the semi final match, especially he singularly won the game mm. for Bro, Australia. He took and, apart and... Shaheen Afridi. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. was scooping him for fun. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, Matthew Weir is actually an insane buy. Like, the fact that I don't even think they got him in the first round, you know, they got him in yeah. like, the, mm. the round two. Oh, actually, round not two. Round two, the unsold round. He was uh, unsold, unsold, yeah, first. unsold, mm. yeah. yeah. I, I it, it's it baffles me that how, like, you know, teams haven't picked up on him and just would I just bear, bear, bear him for his pace price, like. Yeah, it's insane, lah. I mean, some players, some, to be honest, some he's an opener, lah. Yeah. yeah, some he's an opener, and a lot of teams were like, how to say, either they retained the opener already, or they were like, they were already going for other openers like Warner, Shikadavan, all this kind of players, you know. Mm. Yeah, Faf. I read, I read yeah. the Faf. Yeah, I read the stat yeah. that it it was like twelve years since he since he's played in the IPL, lah. Like the longest gap between his debut wow. and him coming wow. back. Wow. So there's wow. eleven years of no Matthew in the IPL. Well, thank God he's back now. Yeah, yeah I mean, he, he's good. Right I mean, he's, he's a he's, he's a left hander and he's like he's yeah like on tracks are very good. Uh, to be honest, and he scores he, cuts, he scores uh, quickly yeah. as well. He scores yeah, a very good rate, especially he's in a keeper as well. Yeah. He's a keeper yeah, as well. Like it's yeah, useful. Yeah. yeah, it's really useful to 
uh, guy to have in your team. So yeah, I mean, on the same topic, LSG, I mean, they look quite disjointed in the first game, but the they second game, I think. The second game. They, 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 yeah. They, yeah, I mean, they murdered us. So, I think the batting looks quite scary also. Uh, especially the batting the top is the three. one is the top three. Yeah, to be honest. Top three, to, top three, top three. Even KL... down, uh, the Badoni guy, uh, Badoni guy is good. Yeah. Oh, Badoni, yeah. Who's yeah, that yeah, guy? Where about did about that guy come from? <laughs> oh, I mean, even he the even the Gambi first game, he scored a fifty. Gambi is counter. Gambi is counter. Gambi is counter. Wow. Yeah. 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 The range of shots that he has for his age is quite mm. yeah. Quite I mean, impressive. okay, like, he scored a 50 first game. Fantastic. I mean, no pressure. Yeah, I mean, that at that point in time, he had no pressure because they weren't really chasing. But let me come to the CSK game. Badoni guy, he came in with what 34 required from two overs, was it? Yeah, something mm. like that. I mean, I mean, to be fair, he was against Dubai, huh? so we cannot really say anything. I mean, whatever it is, it's to come in straight away. He first first ball he faced, I think he he went on one knee and whacked Dubai for over square leg. So I mean, to have the I mean to have the timing, the confidence, and you know it's not easy for a new batsman to come in and just start hitting the ball from ball one, especially mm. and someone who hasn't really established himself in the IPL, who's just starting out in the IPL. So I was really impressed by the way he played. He's able to finish games for uh, LSG, yeah. LSG at this at this age. Yeah. I think it's pretty impressive, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him. all of us by the way. Oh, lovely. He's 22, uh, I think. Uh, makes me yes. feel amazing. December. <laughs> so December. December, because you're older than him then. <laughs> We're you all older than him. <laughs> you're older than him. Oh, <laughs> I'm September, it's December. Yeah, yeah. December. Shit. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I think LSG look a good outfit as well. And as I said, no, there's no, as we thought, we thought there are like some weaknesses in every team, but you know, they seem to you know, if you ask me what uh, what seems to be the weakest team to me is still to me is SRH. I mean I know I didn't say it at the start, but now right now one week yeah. uh, through I think SRH still seems like a weakest outfit to me. They have very good bowlers, don't get me wrong, like uh, Umran Malik. Umran Malik oh. raw pace. I mean mm-hmm. some of the wickets he got against uh, Rajasthan, I think the one he got um uh Dave Dud Padikal out is no he no clue. Uh, like some of the balls he can bowl is quite amazing. Um, but yeah, I think I think SRH, I think especially the bad thing, they lack a lot of firepower. Uh, Kane yeah. Kane needs to find Kane needs to bat through the whole innings. And Rahul the, like Rahul, to, either Rahul the party or Kane, someone has to stay till the end. If not, someone has to play till the end. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. I, I think Abhishek Sharma is a good player, but he needs he needs to be backed a bit more. Like, I think he's a player like Rutu. He can actually play quite well. It's just uh, we haven't seen the best of him yet. But I just feel like their whole batting just lacks a lot of firepower at uh, the top, especially like unlike other teams. Even even for CSK, I would say we have decent firepower. You know, hmm. like, if I were to compare on paper, like Moin Ali can hit a few. Ra- you know what's uh, the problem? Like, okay, for CSK, right, we already have all our players in except okay, like Deepak lah. For other teams, right, still all their best players still have to come in. Uh. That's the scary part, uh. And yeah. they're already like like winning matches without them, really. You know. <laughs> That's like Correct. Oh, all the Australian yeah. players have to come it's, it's in. Okay, yeah. Somehow we will. Yeah. Somehow we'll do something. <laughs> somehow, yeah, we'll, yeah. Somehow, somehow we'll find our way. In. Yeah. I don't know how. Okay, yeah. will I think happen, if CSK is not going to win the uh, title, I wish really I wish Sanju wins it. Uh, RR. Correct. Rajasthan. Yeah, I agree. City. Rajasthan look a very very strong team. Solid uh, team. Solid wow. team. Wow. <laughs> they are they are scary. I mean, again, they're top top six even oh my god top six, is... top six top uh, six they have 16 overs solid 16 overs uh, they don't have to bother about anything uh, uh, literally they have Trent Bolt Prasid Krishna Ashwin and uh, Chakala 16 overs done already there, 16 oh. overs is there already uh, that's without... insane yeah. Ashwin and Chakala really, uh... a very good combo wow. yeah 16 this is amazing mad, uh. oh, yeah. middle overs are where which... you mostly uh, win matches uh, so uh, yes. yeah. <laughs> one, uh, I just want to say one more thing about SRH uh. Washington Sundar was smashed uh. Yeah, yeah, he did. He also did his own smashing. To be fair, but I mean, the economy was a bit unacceptable to me. I mean, he's a fifteen point seven man got absolutely obliterated. <laughs> no, to be honest, the batsman, I think he bowled anything also will smash. Uh. Like, I mean, I think everyone got smashed. Uh, yeah, but he wasn't there. bowling well also. Like, I, I, I not his usual good length, um, which you know makes him one of the best bowlers in the power place. So, Bhuvi still got it, ah. Uh. Kumar. Movie, not too, movie actually class, not right? too bold well also not too bold well honestly but he I mean it was just hit my yeah. just picking him he yeah. was making everything in a full toss slow full toss yeah. he, was, yeah. he had the ability to clear the boundary but not too was bowling well I, I didn't I like the way not too bold I hate my I need to put him inside my dream 11 today 
3:30 match <laughs> even i think mumbai i think i, I just hope mumbai loses uh. i mean i think i don't have to hope i think they will just lose la yeah i think bumrah bumrah is getting smashed all over the park i don't bumrah know bumrah bumrah is the is the bumrah usual mumbai first match thing uh. bumrah yeah. will get smashed yeah. unexpectedly yeah. They lose yeah. the match. They will. They will look like winning the match, and somehow they lose the lose the match because somebody <laughs> plays a crazy note. Yeah. We did it to them uh, in 2018. We came back, also I remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes, I remember that match vividly. Oh my god, yeah. there were scenes. Uh. But how yeah. to say ah? Uh, like, okay, and one more thing, I feel that Shreyas Iyer is the best captain in the league right now. Uh, out of all the 14 teams, big, big claim. Okay, big. really, Shreyas Iyer. Ro- oh, hey, Rohit Sharma. Yeah, I would say so. Ah, uh. I mean Rohit oh. Sharma. Uh, I mean, I never rated him. Uh. So okay, okay, no, okay, okay. I take it back. As a captain, is very good, but uh, like, but right now, I would say right now, like in the league, I do think that he's the future for India, lah, in terms of captaincy. So yeah, so yeah, I mean, Pravin, you were saying that uh, K- yeah, Shreya uh, Sayer is the best captain for KKR. That was no, no, not important. best captain. I mean, no, he's the best captain in the league. Best captain in the league. You mean so? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, lah, I would say after this, I mean, because KKR has played the most number of matches. Uh, they played three matches already. Hmm. So out of this. Hmm. Like I, I feel that like his captaincy is really. I mean, he's making Umesh Yadav perform. Uh. That's true. Like, Umesh Yadav has been really right. good. Uh. Umesh Yadav has been a very very. Did he really take player. like four for twenty three or something like like? Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. I mean, he, he's the purple cap holder now. Wow. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, what a turnaround! Uh. I remember yeah. the time when Umesh Yadav used to get smashed in the IPL. RCB yeah. factor. That's RCB factor. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's the only. Bro, they were calling RCB. Varun Aaron like Umesh Yadav version two point zero. That's how bad yeah. it was. <laughs> Actually, but yeah. by the Varun Aaron is, I think I for one more sorry, sorry to go back again, but Gujarat Titans, right? If let's say they get rid, they find a replacement for Varun Aaron, I feel like they have. Mm. A, I think Varun Aaron no, is they, too expensive. Always been too expensive. No, they, he's, no, he's always have, at the pace. He's, he's Stoinis, just not been good enough. Stoinis is coming in. Right? Oh yeah, Stoinis is a big oh, right. signing. Stoinis, yeah, Stoinis is coming in. Yeah, they'll easily. Once ask the oil, wait, a, Stoinis is like Gujarat also. Yeah. How many good players do they have? No, why why don't CSK have any of this? <laughs> yeah, we don't. We are. This is the first time we don't have a single Australian but player. We, you know, for even for we, even for KKR, Pat Cummins has to come in. For RCB, Hazelwood has to come in. All these like big big names has to come in. A Warner and Mitch Marsh for DC. Stoyne, <laughs> Maxwell, Maxwell has to come in for RCB. Yeah. Oh ho ho! Oh, right. Completely forgot about Maxwell. Uh. Yeah. So all these big names are still left out. Okay, boys, he might be very good. They hit two hundred and five for two without Maxwell. They're saying they just said to put it out there. He might be a rep for us, honestly. He might be. Uh. No boys, positivity. Uh, Who are we facing the final? Come on, let's go. Who are we facing the final? Yes. Am I? Uh, somehow, somehow they will come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, to be honest, only Am I and CSK they don't have anyone coming in here. Uh. Other than yeah. I think their elevens are like there already. Lah, uh. all the playing elevens. You know. Every That's time this new auction cycle comes in, right? We always talk about, oh, okay, maybe this is the time for new teams to come in and start winning the trophy, and somehow it be- just becomes a a a pass a, a pass the hot potato between CSK and MI. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we talk so much about like these these teams having better players on paper, and they do. Ah, uh, I'm never I'm not gonna even try to. They always them. have it. They always have. Yeah, it. CSK have always been on paper one of the weaker teams. We've always punched above our weight, which is why it's yeah. so impressive that we are so consistent. But, but I, do you guys think I, this I is just the, feel this like finally it. the. This could be the end, you know why? Because of Dhoni's Dhoni's end of an era. I feel Dhoni, mm. right? At crucial moments, he makes some of the best decisions. Yeah. As a captain, yeah. which I mean, he could still be influencing, but ultimately, at some point, you know, Jadeja will have the final say, and Jadeja still is new as a captain, and he will mm. make mistakes. There are so many more players who are younger but more experienced as captains in the IPL. So, I think yeah, that's true. I think that's we true. will get we will like, get even, found out at some point. Like that, that's how Shreya Sayer and Pantol. That, that's how they are. Yeah, correct. I mean, they are much younger, but they are, have been captain like Shreya Sayer. Has, apparently, has been captain for like three. This is his third season as a captain. Uh. Correct. Like two yeah. seasons for. I mean, D- to be year. honest, he had no he had no reason to even be dropped as a captain for Delhi. It was so unfair. Yeah. I mean, no, like, think he about was it. injured. Like, I would say Pan did a decent job, but I understand what he did mean. a decent yeah. job. But I I just feel like it's so unfair. They should have backed him, right? They should yeah, have backed yeah. him. Like, un- it's really un- unfair to a point where you know, like, he was arguably your best player as a captain. Um, I mean, he gets yeah, injured, yeah, shoulder yeah, injury, fact, and then he's the not even that, he's not even retained. He's not even yeah, retained. Yeah, the fact yeah. he wasn't retained, ah, uh. yes, okay, yeah. To be honest, yeah, I really think he un- didn't want to get retained, like, because he knew that he's not going to be the captain, like. And he, and maybe he didn't want he wanted like the top retained, yeah, because he wants the money. Like he, he Correct, believes yeah. he should be the top player. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I think I think it's fair, I think a player yeah. of his quality deserves I mean, to be captain. I think more than the money, I think he deserves to be a captain, ah. Yeah, he does, he does, he does, and 
even the in the second match that RCB uh won KKR right I mean they lost yeah. to RCB right it was a very low scoring match and he brought like how is it his captaincy like the the bowlers he gave uh the field setting everything uh, he was like how is it they nearly they could have won uh, if like if uh, mm. some things went their way uh, but like wow it was such a like RCB hands up should have won the game. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, Pravin Hank. Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay, now he's back. He's back. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. So I think <laughs> okay, I think we've covered all teams quite nicely. Uh, surprisingly, this format worked. I think we should continue with this format. Uh, I think yeah. we should try to dwell on casual, stuff we don't casual coffee talk about. Yeah. Boys. yeah, we covered most teams actually. Yeah. So I mean last before we end. SK am I the rest? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay yeah anyway coming back before we wrap up the episode let's just maybe go around um having watched a week of the ipl who is going to win the tournament uh, who is your favorite to win the tournament CSK. Right now? still csk okay Taru, Taru has his answer uh, the rest i feel i mean i think rajasthan looks like they look flawless and especially uh sangagara as the coach sanga as the coach mm. i think they have a and sanju as the captain sanju sanju is first in like Apparently, did you all see the stats? Like for the past three seasons, right? His first innings, like for the first match, is always a uh, first. Like yeah. uh, two years ago, it was seventy uh, four runs. One year ago, it was last Actually. year he smashed a hundred. Now he's fifty five. Right? Like he's he's just class, uh, Like he sets the pace. Right? Everyone thought that particle at number four will screw up so much. You know, like it's not. It's yeah. never gonna work. Like. Okay, four, again, but... I made a wrong call. I thought. I thought oh, you were the guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Parikal yeah, yeah. came in and he just smashed. Like how is he? He just went. expressed himself. Uh, like yeah. whatever. I think Sanju would have like just smash whatever you want. Uh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I I I I, I think I agree with Pravin. I think Rajasthan are in a very strong position, but I still like, feel yeah. like Delhi are going to be yeah. out there. Delhi are going to yeah, quite Delhi, likely win it. Uh, and uh, I think the big factor is the Ponting factor. I think Ponting is the reason why they've revitalized themselves so much as yeah. a team in the past. I, mean, I would the say the same they're for always Arar also. I mean, Sangha Kami last season has helped them. Just, yeah. Yeah. Has helped them. Uh, they, they've done well, but I feel like yeah. Delhi have that edge because they've always been, I think ever since Ponting took over, they've always been in, around the big boys, the CSKs and the MIs. Mm-hmm. And I think this year, finally, they probably have what it takes to get over the line. In terms of their team quality, no doubt, they've always had the team quality. But they've always got into the playoffs, right? Yeah, they've almost always. Ever like, since I mean, Ponting for the past two seasons, yeah. The past two seasons, ever since Ponting to over, yeah. yeah. So I think that Ponting factor is, is, is immense. And I think, mm-hmm. I mean, the, they have also, the thing uh, about, they've added Watson also to the backroom stuff. So that's right, even yeah, more experience. Yeah. And, and he's also right, a champion, exactly. you know. So yeah, Correct. they look serious. They look serious. Yeah, I don't know if you guys follow a Delhi on uh, YouTube as well. Uh, it's it's quite nice to see because you can see Ricky Ponting's actually speeches. Maybe that's all. That's why I'm also a bit biased. I, mm. I really like the way he you know c- goes about his work, the way he talks, the way he communicates. He, his 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 policy is like you know it's an open door policy where you know I'll treat everyone the same. Like um even in the hotel rooms, he told everyone to leave their doors open so that you know. He just have a chat. He wants to create that atmosphere of transparency and like openness and try to create a family around DC, which I mean, um, I guess it's a hallmark of all the great teams, you know, like and even CSK for that matter is always like, even if you've watched Watson's interviews, he's always talked about how CSK is like a family and like everyone's so laid back. You know, you can just go into Donny's room and play PlayStation with him. Yeah, you can smoke yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, that's like so cool. Uh. Just imagine. Yeah. My man just lying on the bed with the hookah. But, but, but yeah, are you free for uh one game of FIFA? Ah oh, yeah, come over. Then just go walk down. Come over. <laughs> Hi, bye. Yeah. Then I just play. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Yeah. So that's why I think Delhi are, are well placed. And I, but I, I mean personally, I would love to see R win because I think I like Sanju as well. Like, yeah, I, I, I love okay, actually our dogs. I, I think he deserves won. a place in the Indian. Yeah, yeah. Chain for one year. And for one year, but it'd be yeah. an amazing uh, tribute to him as well. Yeah. yeah, true. And uh, Arjun, yeah. what about you? Uh, uh, I mean, Delhi. Is he hanging? Yes, well he's done. gone. I, he, of he was like mm-hmm. Delhi. I mean, Delhi. okay, like, now we, I mean, that's like, I mean, Delhi's not going to win. Huh? I mean, you can just see the, <laughs> all the signs, universe signs. <laughs> okay. I wonder if he's still talking, but anyway, I don't know. We, we, we assume that you are going to say Delhi, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully, you said Delhi. Uh, if you said any team else, I'm sorry, we cannot uh, include that in the podcast uh, <laughs> unless you come in in the next few seconds. But anyway, uh, I think that's all we have time for today, guys. Uh, thanks so much for coming on the podcast. I think it's been a while since we had a episode on cricket. 
and it was fun. I think with this open format, maybe we should practice this open format for other sports as well. I think it's quite fun personally yeah, because I think we tend to talk in the just we sometimes we cover things for the sake of covering. Oh, he left. Okay, well done. Yeah. But anyway, on, yeah, I think we I think we tend to cover matches or like um, teams for the sake of covering them, you know. But I think this time we we talked about what we really want to talk about, and I think it's a lot more natural the flow. So I think we'll try and adopt this for future episodes also. Also, uh, but yeah, with that, thank you so much, guys, for listening. I really appreciate. Uh, if you, I think our cricket has always done pretty well uh, relative to other channels. Um, so we are we are always grateful for your support. So do continue supporting us and do continue supporting our F one who have F one team who have recently uploaded some episodes as well. We reached I think a record fifty views, which is uh, amazing for our F one team because that's typically not the uh, most popular uh, spot for TNT. So we are glad for that as well. So keep continue keep giving us a support, guys. We really appreciate it. And uh, before we end off, Tarun, uh, take it away with the last few messages. Yep, guys. Once again, if you've liked the, uh, what we do, if you like this episode, please do consider following us, subscribing subscribing to us on Spotify and YouTube. We are on both these places as the Next Team Podcast. And please do check us out on Instagram. Follow us there for all our latest updates on all our latest videos. And we are there at the Next Team SG. And also, we are on TikTok. And that's where we'll be uploading all our snippets and best moments, highlights from our videos. We are there at the Next Team SG as well. Okay. Uh, thanks, Tarun. In case if you guys are watching on video, suddenly it's just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that's happening, but uh, yeah. Me and Tarun are the last men standing. So uh, with that, we'd like to thank you once again for your amazing support thus far. Uh, we really enjoy doing the episodes and we will upload as much as we can. And um, yeah, we'll see you again in the next episode of the Next Team Podcast. Bye, guys. Ciao, guys.